السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ آف کلاس سکس دس از چیورا سلطانہ اسسٹنٹ ٹیچر آف انگلش انورا بیگم مسلم گرلس ہائی اسکول اینڈ کالج ہاؤ ار یو آئی ہوپ یو آر ہیل اینڈ ہرٹی بائی دا گریس آف آل مائی چلڈرن ٹوڈے وی آر ہیئر فار انگلش کلاس اینڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن سم تھنگ فرام دا ریڈنگ سیکشن اٹس ان آور ای ایف ٹی بک از اٹ اٹ اوکے اسٹوڈنٹ بیفور اسٹارٹنگ Let's see some pictures. Look at the pictures. What can you see? Are they familiar to you? Yes, they are very familiar to us, our neighbors. They work in different areas and help us to lead a smooth life. Are in there? Student. Shouldn't we thankful to them for their contribution to our life? Yes, we should thank them for their work. So, student, I hope you can guess what we are going to learn today. Today's topic is Thanks for your work. It's in lesson 5. After completing the lesson, student, you will be able to talk about people, places, and familiar objects in short and simple sentences. Ask and answer questions. Participate in short dialogues and conversation on familiar topics. Read and understand texts. Write short paragraphs. Let introduce some new vocab. Look at the picture. It's a picture of nurse. It's a noun which denotes a person whose job is to care for people who are ill or injured. Next one. Look at the picture. It's a picture of postman. It's a noun which means a person whose job is to deliver or collect letters or person. Next one. Very familiar to us. It's a picture of rickshaw puller. It's a noun. A small covered passenger vehicle with two wheels that is usually pulled by one person. Isn't it? That's mean a person who pulls a rickshaw. Come to the next slide. Look at the picture. It's a picture of waiter. It's a noun, which means a man whose job is to serve customers at their table in a restaurant. Next one, it's a picture of rubbish. It's a noun, which means waste material or things that are no longer wanted or needed. Next one, it's a picture of newspaper hawker. It's a noun. which means a person who sells or delivers newspaper come to the next slide say vocabulary chart i have arranged some, some word with their cursory speech bengali meaning and english to english meaning and also their synonym let's try to know them first one nurse shebika it's a noun A person whose job is to care for people who are ill or injured. Synonym, attendant. Number two, rickshaw puller. Rickshaw puller. It's a noun, a small covered passenger vehicle with two wheels that is usually pulled by one person. That's mean a person whose job is to pull a rickshaw, isn't it? Number three, postman. Duck peon. It's a noun, a person who... whose job is to deliver or collect letters or parcels synonym mailman number 4 waiter khaddo poribeshok it's a noun a person whose job is to serve customers at their tables in a restaurant synonym server next one cleaner porishkarok it's a noun a person whose job is to clean houses offices public places etc Synonym, cleaning agent. Number six, newspaper hawker. Khaborir kagojir hawker. It's a noun, a person who sells or delivers newspapers. Synonym, 
newsboy. Number seven, appropriate. Jotha jotho is an adjective, suitable or right for a particular situation or occasion. Synonym suitable. Number eight, rubbish. Aburjuna is a noun, waste material or things that are no longer wanted or needed. Synonym is garbage. Next one, collect. Shangruhu is a verb, bring or gather together. Synonym is gather. Come to the next slide. Here is also another vocabulary chart. Let's see. Number 10. Believe. Vishash. It's a verb. Accept that something is true. Synonym. Trust. Number 11. Trouble. Jamila. It's a noun. Difficulty or problems. Synonym. Problems. Number 12. Pie. It's two. It's a noun. A mass of something that has been placed somewhere. Synonym, mass. Number 13, unhygienic. Oshastukar is an adjective. Not clean or sanitary. Synonym is unclean. Number 14, realize. Upalubdhikara. It's a verb. Become fully aware or understand a situation. Synonym is understand. Number 15, does mean. Aburjuna fella jaiga. It's a noun. Which means a container for household refuse. Synonym is trash bin. Number 16. Notish. Lokhukora. It's a verb. Become aware of. Synonym is observe. Number 17. Composition. Rachuna. It's a noun. A creative work. Synonym article. Number 18. Italic. Baka kore mudrito kora. It's a noun, a style of writing in which the letters lean to the right. Number 19, usual. Procholito. It's an adjective. Used most often. Synonym, customary. Number 20, upset. Bipor jor. It's a verb. Make someone worried, unhappy, or angry. And the synonym is disturbed. Come to the next slide. It's our text. Lesson 5. Thanks for your work. Section C. Look and say. Use suitable words from the books and describe the occupation of each person below. Let's see the box. Newspaper hawker, rickshaw puller, nurse. Waiter, cleaner, postman. Here are some occupations name and following these words there are some pictures. Okay. Kichu Pishan Nam Dawatse Niche Boxe Abu Tashate Kichu Chobi Dawatse. উপযুক্ত শব্দটি সঠিকভাবে উপযুক্ত ছবির নিচে বসাতে বলা হয়েছে let's try to do it first one let's see number one who is that person what's his work is let's see is a cleaner number two look at the man is delivering something to the housewife let's see he is a postman and next one she is a nurse and number four he is a waiter number five is a rickshaw puller and the last one number six is a newspaper hawker okay student come to the next slide let's see section one choose the appropriate words from the box to complete the dialogue below then act out the dialogues in pairs. Niche box take upujuk to shop duty, patch hai kore. Niche dialogue te shampuno koru. Tarpo dialogue te jorai ovinai koru. Let's try to complete it first. First one, what does a cleaner do? A cleaner cleans our houses, office, and dash. 
etc. Which one would be? Let's see. Streets. Next one. What does a newspaper hawker do? A hawker gives us newspaper every morning. Next one. What does a postman do? A postman delivers what let's see letters and other items to us next one what does a rickshaw puller do let's see a rickshaw puller takes us from one place to another and last one what does a waiter do let's see a waiter serves food at the restaurant is it clear student let's do section b Read the text about Bulbul and answer the question below. Bulbul Shampur ke pathang shuti ku pore niche prosugula uttorda. Student, be attentive and listen the text very carefully to understand it and gather some important information to answer the following question. Okay? Let's do. Bulbul collects rubbish from the Shankar area in Dhaka. Bulbul Dhaka, Shankar Alakatike, Moila Vujana, Shangru Kori. Every morning he wakes up at 5 o'clock and walks along the streets of Shankar to collect rubbish. She protein bore pastai, Gumtiki Uthe, Moila Vujana, Shangru Kote, Shankur Shoroke, Petibara. People of Shankar put their rubbish in plastic bins and leave them in front of their houses. Shankur Vashi Tade Moila Bujuna, plastic bine rake, abushigulu Tade Bari, Shamne Filerake. Bulbul walks from door to door to collect them. Bulbul, Egul Shangro Kute, Bari Bari, Gurebara. Sometimes the beans are very dirty and they smell bad. Kokuno Kokuno bean guluk nungra huetake, abum, Egulutiki Durgom Firhoi. But Bulbul does not mind. So the Bulbul kuno kichmoni kore na. He takes out everything from the beans and put them in his bag. She bean thi ke shop kichu beer kore na. Abong she gulutar dhani rakhi. He believes that all jobs are important. She bishash kore shop kaj gurutto bolu. He works hard every day to keep this area clean. এই এলাকাকে পরিষ্কার পরিচ্ছন্ন রাখতে সে প্রতিদিন কঠোর পরিশ্রম করে। Come to the next slide. Last month, Bulbul was sick for two days. গত মাসে বুলবুল দুদিন অসুস্থ ছিল। So, he could not come to collect the rubbish. তাই সে ময়লা বর্জনা সংগ্রহ করতে আসেনি। The people of Shankar were in great trouble. শঙ্করবাসী মহাবিপদে পড়ল। they got piles of rubbish waiting in front of their houses. Tadir Bashar Shamni Opikuman Moila Ristu Puriruli. The whole area became dirty and unhygienic. Gota Alaka Nongra O Oshastukor Huyuklu. When Bulbul got well, he came back to Shankar. Bulbul Jakun Shusto Huyuklu, Tokun Shankure, Fidelu. He collected everything from all the beans. She shop bean thike shop moy lavojona shangro kulu. Bulbul does not want to fall sick again. Bulbul punorai oshustu hutte china. He realizes if he stops working, even for a few days only, the whole area will turn into a big dust. She jani koikin kaj bondurakli. Gota alaka brihot does vine poinata hobe. Student, is it clear to you? It's a story of a cleaner called Bulbul. His daily routine is here. He helps us to lead a a smooth hygienic life. We should thank him for his hard work. Shouldn't we?
Okay. Come to the next one. Section B1. Now ask and answer the question in pairs. Akhon jugno bade. This means jorai. Prosnogule jiggish kore uttor da. You can make a pairs with me. And let's try to do it. Okay. Number one. What time does Bulbul wake up? Student, we all know. Then try to make it a question and then give answer. By this way, complete the whole question. Number F. Okay? Let's do. Suppose A is you and B is me. Okay? Let's do. Friends, do you know Bulbul? Of course, he is the rubbish collector of Shankar area in Dhaka. Well, what times does Bulbul wake up? He wakes up at 5 o'clock. Where do the people of Shankar put their rubbish? They put their rubbish in plastic bin. Why does Bulbul think that all the jobs are important? He thinks all jobs are important because every job has utility to fulfill one's needs and necessities. What happened when Bulbul became sick? The whole area became dirty and unhygienic. When Bulbul fell ill. What will happen if Bulbul falls sick again? The whole area will turn into a big dustbin if Bulbul falls sick again. What will you say to Bulbul if you meet him? If I meet Bulbul, I will inspire him by saying that an area cannot do a single moment without his service. I will also tell him that he renders a great social work by collecting rubbish and thus saving people from diseases of different types. Thank you very much. Welcome. Like this, we can make a dialogue by using this six question and also the text what we have read just now. Okay, student, come to the next slide. Section B2. Think of a person who helps you live well. Write a composition on this person. Now answer the following question. We will do this section a bit later. Okay, come to the next slide. Now it's time to focus the use of language here. Let's see. Notice the verbs in the italics in the following sentence. Niche bakugulute. Italic umbra itwagi genetila je agdhorne likon potuti. Likagulo dandike juke jaitu. Let's see which one is here. Number A. Bulbul collects rubbish from the Shankar area in Dhaka. Here, collects is a word which is written in italics here. And it's a verb. Number B. Every day he wakes up at 5 o'clock and walks along the street of Shankar. In this sentence, there are two words in italics. Number 1 is wakes up and number 2 is walks. Here, wakes and walks. Both are verbs. Let's see the reason why they take is we talk about usual routines in simple present tense. Amra amade pratidin kar niyomitu je shacharachor kori kach kormo shigulo simple present tense ba present indefinite tense likhe taki ba bole taki. In simple present tense, the verb takes in s or is if the subject is any one person, he or she, etc. Okay, let's spin Amra Shadhanoto Amade Shadhan Kothavata simple present tense Bolethaki Abong 
এক্ষেত্রে ভার্ব সব সময় এস অথবা ইএস গ্রহণ করে যদি সাবজেক্টটি থার্ড পারসন সিঙ্গুলার হয়ে থাকে কোন একজন ব্যক্তিকে বোঝায় সে দ্যাটস হোয়েন হি অর শি কে বোঝায় ইজ ইট ক্লিয়ার স্টুডেন্ট নেক্সট ওয়ান লেটস সি দ্য নেক্সট ব্লক নোটিস দ্য ভার্বস ইন দ্য ফলোইং সেন্টেন্স ইন ইতালি ওকে এখানে ইতালিকে লেখা সেন্টেন্স গুলো ভার্ব গুলোকে দেখতে বলা হয়েছে লেটস সি the people in shankar area became very upset here became is a verb and is in italic and they got piles of rubbish waiting outside their house here got is in italic is in verb let's see why they didn't take is or is all the sentences here talk about the past ekhane je bakku gulo royeche sob gulo otite kotha bola hoyeche so they are in simple past tense ta egulo simple past tense e hoyeche in simple past tense the verb is always in its past form simple past tense e verb sham shomoy simple past tense e form e boshe example got became etc ei jonno got ebong became e dutu je verb ekhane chilo example hisebe amra nilam এগুলো পাস্ট ফরম্যাট এসেছে গেট থেকে গট বিকেম বিকাম থেকে বিকেম ইজ ইট ক্লিয়ার স্টুডেন্ট মূল কথা হলো যদি আমরা আমাদের নিয়মিত যে কথাবার্তা বলে থাকি সাধারণ যে কথাবার্তা প্রতিদিনকার কথাবার্তা বলে থাকি তার সবসময় আমরা প্রেজেন্ট ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট টেন্সে বলি এবং এক্ষেত্রে যদি সাবজেক্টটি ওয়ান পার্সেন্টকে বোঝায় হি বা সি কে বোঝায় তার মানে থার্ড পার্সন সিঙ্গুলার নাম্বার যদি সাবজেক্টটি হয় তাহলে আমরা ভার্বের শেষে এস বাই এস যুক্ত করে থাকি যেমন কালেক্টের সাথে কালেক্স ব্যবহার করেছি বিকজ থার্ড পার্সন সিঙ্গুলার নাম্বার ইজ হিয়ার বা বুলবুল ইজ দ্যাট ক্লিয়ার নেক্সট ওয়ান ওয়েক্স অ্যান্ড ওয়ার্কস হিয়ার অলসো দ্য সাবজেক্ট হি ইজ এ থার্ড পার্সন সিঙ্গুলার নাম্বার সো উই ইউজ এস আফটার ওয়েক্স অ্যান্ড ওয়ার্কস ইজ এ ক্লিয়ার অ্যান্ড দ্য সেকেন্ড ওয়ান হিয়ার এখানে আমরা অতীতে কথা বলেছি এবং অতীতে কথা সবসময় ভার ফার্স্ট টেন্সে হয়ে থাকে সেই জন্য আমরা বিকেম এবং গড ব্যবহার করেছি নেক্সট ওয়ান সেকশন বি থ্রি উই উইল ডিসকাস ইট লেটার কাম টু দ্য নেক্সট লাইট ইটস ইউর রিভলিউশন টাইম স্টুডেন্ট ইউ আর গোয়িং টু write a composition by answering section b2 questions at first think of a person from your area who helps you to live well is your garbage collector here are six questions in the box you can answer all the question by taking help from the text in section b about bulbul first of all you need to give a title of the composition the title would be a garbage collector next one let's try to answer the question one by one what does he or she do i know a person very well His name is Rajan. He is a garbage collector of Shobuzbak area in Dhaka. It's our answer of question A. Let's see B. What time does he or she start his or her work? Let's see. Every morning he wakes up at 5 o'clock and walks along the street of Shobuzbak to collect garbage. like the previous passages we have to just find out our answer from that passages and then put them here is it okay student so let's see question number c how does she or he do the work People of Shobuzbak put their garbage in plastic bins and leave them in front of their houses. Rajan walks from door to door to collect them. 
Sometimes the beans are very dirty and smell bad, but he does not mind. He takes out everything from the beans and put them in a large way. So, it's the answer of question C. How does he or she do the work? Let's see question D. Does he or she like the job? If he like, why? If he doesn't like, why not? Let's see the answer. He thinks all jobs are important. Every job has utility to fulfill one's need and necessary. This is why he likes his job. Here, we have to give the reason why he likes his job. He likes it because he thinks all jobs are important and all jobs have some utility to fulfill someone's need or necessary. Okay, let's see question number E. What will happen if he or she stop working? If he stops working for a few days, the whole area will turn into a big dustbin. The living place will be dirty and unhygienic. Consequently, the people of his working area cannot move freely and may suffer from different diseases. Okay, student. Let's find out the last answer. Question number F. What do you think about his or her job? Let's see. So he never wants the people of his working area to fall in danger. I think Rajan renders a great social service by collecting garbage from Shobuzbak area in Dhaka. The people of his area cannot do a single moment without his service. They can live well for his great service. So workers like Rajan should be treated well. They should not be deprived. Of their rights and privileges. Is it clear, student? We have already written a composition on a garbage collector. There are a sharp difference between a paragraph writing and a composition writing. In a paragraph, you must write only one para, but in a composition, you can write more than four and five and more than ten. I have written here one, two, three, four, five para to complete a composition on a garbage collector. And there are a clear similarity between a paragraph and a composition. It's a title. Both of them require a title. When you are going to write a paragraph or a composition, you must write a title. But always remember, a paragraph requires only one para and a composition requires more than two and how many you can. Not it doesn't mean that you must write 10, 11, 14. No, not like this. 5 to 7 is standard. Is it clear, student? Try to understand this composition and learn it at home and write like this type of composition on your areas. A person who helps you to live a hygienic life. Come to the next slide. It's your homework time and now it's time to do section B3. Underline all the verbs in text on Bulbul B. Write down the past form of the verb in the present tense. Also write down the present form of the verb in the past tense. One is done for you. Wax up. Present tense and woke up. It's past tense. Student. Section B, the bulbul shampur ke je pati roye chhe. Shekhan kar jato gulo bhar bache shampur te underline kono. Ekhon tumi she verb gulo modhe je gulo past tense a chhe, she gulo present tense likho. Abong je gulo present tense a chhe, she gulo ke past tense likho. Ekta tuvar jono kore dawa chhe, wo ek sab chilo. Section B te, ita present form ite a chhe. 
spoke up, it passed for me. Do it at home. That's all for today. Thanks for your patience. Stay home. Stay safe.